Okay guys, so another uh, four to five hours here playing the radio and I have not been able to uh, reproduce that real, you know, crackling, noisy sound. Oh, smoke. That's not a good sign. Okay guys, I think I've got that little crackling noise uh, problem figured out. Let me uh, show you guys what I found. Okay, after standing on my head to look up underneath the tuning condenser, it looks like my uh, problem was nothing more than an old uh, nasty sticky spider web. So um, that appears to be where my arcing was uh, taking place. Hopefully it's resolved. Now let's take a look at the uh, speaker repair and a few other odds and ends here to get to the uh, point where we can play this radio again. You guys can see I cheated and I had to get my output transformer and hooked up and play the uh, radio just a little bit on low volume just to test the output transformer that I rewound. Here I'm just using an old uh, discarded uh, cone, speaker cone that I had on hand. And I'm just cutting a piece out to apply it as a patch over the uh, big area that's missing. Just to uh, reinforce the uh, surrounding area. Um, as well as uh, cover up the uh, big hole that we have there in the speaker. I'm using the uh, Aileen's uh, glue. And uh, just uh, mixing it with just a little bit of water. Uh, just to um, allow it to soak through the uh, fabric of the uh, speaker cone, the existing and the new cone as well. Now I know I'm adding some weight to the cone. Uh, this thing really needs a uh, recomb, and if it sounds really bad once I get things back together, I'll uh, look at just doing a complete uh, recomb. In addition here you can see a little glue around the edge just to get the uh, surround back down. Now here's just an underneath shot. Believe it or not, every one of the resistors uh, checked good. Uh, they were all within 20%, so I did not replace a, a single resistor. I don't remember the last time that was the case. But uh, best I can tell, they're all just fine, and uh, they should work uh, well. A couple of them are, you know, nearing the uh, 20 percentile mark. The uh, capacitors there, you can see, were mounted uh, back on the uh, terminal strips. Here I'm just back to my uh, IF alignment here uh, real quick, just knocking it out. A very simple um, alignment process for this particular receiver. Yeah, this thing was almost spot on. All right, let's adjust the uh, trap trimmer real quick. My uh, meter here, instead of looking for maximum deflection, what I want to see is minimum. And I've got my IF uh, set for 448. So I just want to adjust this till we uh, get to a minimum level. And you can see I'm past that point. Let me just rock back and forth. So it wasn't very far off. Adjusting the uh, broadcast trimmer here. Just using an off-air station here that's uh, in close proximity, just above 1400 uh, kilocycles. Same thing here for the uh, oscillator. Okay guys, I've let this thing play for another two hours and that problem has not reoccurred and uh, I've uh, poked and pried around on different things uh, trying to recreate the uh, problem. I'm going to let this cool down and uh, I'm going to pull the rectifier tube out and I'm going to check. Alright, uh, let me flip on the Variac here get the meter back over on AC voltage here and um, what I want to do is measure pins 2 to ground, 3 to ground. And uh, let's record those voltages and compare those results back to the uh, calculated voltages. So 
So ground to pin to, 287. And I read 288.8 .8 before off the transformer, and I calculated 289. So uh, that's pretty close. Ground to pin number three. Two sixty one point two is uh, what I read before. I'm at two sixty point three, and if I look back at my calculated notes, uh, two sixty two point five six. So uh, very very close to my uh, calculated numbers. I'll flip it back on here and uh, continue to monitor things for a while. I brought this up to uh, full voltage here, so you guys could see the uh, ramp up voltage just under 400 volts. More to come soon, folks. Thanks for watching.